this is Marco Huda from The Construct. Today I'm going to explain about Rust2 interfaces, the common language behind Rust2 messages, services and actions. As usual, I'm going to use The Construct platform. If you don't have an account yet, you can start using for free just following the sign up link. As soon as you are authenticated, you can get a copy of the project I am working on just using the share link I put in the description of this video. So press the run button and the platform will make the environment ready for you. Basically Rust2 interfaces is a common language between Rust2 messages, services and actions. And you can create them with the same instructions. Uh, so let's check how it goes. For example, I'm going to have a web shell ready. And in the meantime, let me open the ID as well. And you can check in the, in the CLI, for example, if you type Rust2 interfaces, interface list, you're going to see all the interfaces uh, that you have available there. And interfaces include not only messages, but also services and actions. So differently, uh, from ROS1, you don't check all the interfaces uh, by types like ROS message list or ROS service list or even ROS action list, uh, which was actually not a, a valid command. But here you have a single one called ROS2 interface. And then whether if it's a message of a topic or a message of a service, uh, it's going to be define it in the compilation process, but you can check all of them in the same CLI command. So let's check, for example, uh, getting into our Rust2 workspace, go inside the source folder, and in this folder, I'm going to create a new package. So uh, it goes like this, uh, Rust2 package, create, build type is amen, cmake, and I'm going to call it checking interfaces, for example. Okay, great. So I have my package created and I'm going to create a folder called msg, stands for message. And here I'm going to create a new file called new message dot message. So inside this new file, I can define a new message structure and I can use any of those available built-in types here. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, use three of them randomly. For example, bool. I'm gonna uh, have a field call it check. Just after this field, I'm gonna have another one uh, integer call it number. And finally a string call it, uh, well, text is good enough. After you have the message structure defined, we need to compile it. In order to compile, we must go to the CMake file. So there you have CMake lists and you need, you need to add, first of all, a dependency. And in ROS2, it goes like this. So find package ROS IDL default generators, and this is required. Finally, we want to compile and generate the interfaces, which means uh, the compilation process is going to create all the necessary libraries, whether if you're working with C++ or Python, but all the necessary libraries to have this interface available for your Rust nodes. Okay. Uh, just after that, setting up the CMake list file, you also need to set up the package file. So. Uh, we need to add, first of all, a build dependency. And this is the ROS IDL default generators. Then we need to add also add the execution dependency, ROS IDL default runtime, and also the ROS IDL interface packages, which is a member of group. 
So this is required in order to generate a ROST2 message. Okay, finally, uh, well, let's compile the package. And it goes like this. I'm gonna get back to the ROST2 workspace and execute the compilation command. So call com build, then packages select, checking interfaces. Uh, well, actually just for the uh, sake of practicing how to compile just a single package, but in this case, we just have the, the checking interfaces packages inside the workspace. Okay, great. So we can now uh, source the installation folder that is going to take into account everything that we have compiled so far and run again the ROS2 interface list command. And at this moment, we should have a new message available. So go to the beginning of the command result. And well, actually I can check like this, do a grab and search for a new. And here we have the packet checking interfaces. And this is a message. And the name of the message is new message. Uh, just as simple as this. And this is a message available in our new package, the one that we have just created. Okay, great. So uh, what else? Now that we have a message created, we can do a rush to topic pub. Uh, actually, we can check the interface type and show you like this. So checking interfaces, new, new message. And you're going to see the exactly the same structure that we have available there. And now if you do a Rust topic, Rust to topic pub, and I'm going to create a new topic, for example, testing. And the type of this message is going to be checking interfaces, new message. Uh, just press tab twice and Rust2 CLI is going to autocomplete for you once again. And it's gonna, it's not gonna show uh, the structure here in the CLI, but you can just press enter and you're gonna see the messages being published. So it's using the default values for those types. For example, a boolean is gonna be false, number equals to zero, and a string just empty string. You can uh, fill up those values and so on. Uh, okay, then since you are working and talking about interfaces, let's try to create now a service message using uh, more or less the same type. So I'm going to start by creating a new folder called it server, just SRV. And inside this SRV folder, so new service message dot SRV. I'm going to copy the name of this file. So copy and paste here. We are now gener trying to generate a new service message, but we are using exactly the same command we are using for generating a new topic message. Okay. But for services, we need to put something slightly different, which is uh, this three hyphen here, because the service has an input and an output. So I can separate, for example, check and use the number and text fields as the output of the server. So save it, compile again. Okay, great. So I'm going to source once more the installation folder and check what we have there. So the name of the service is new service message. I'm going to do a grab for new. And here we have uh, both the topic message and also the service message. So if we run like this Rust2 interface, show checking interfaces. Now we must have two options for the auto completion. I'm going for the service message and just press enter. And here you can see that we have the Boolean check 
and a number and taxes outputs for the interface. Okay, yeah, so basically that's it. You can check uh, other videos to see uh, more or less how you can create and customize more uh, services and messages and even actions. But it's important to remember and to have in mind that everything that you have available to build a custom message, you can also use for building services and even actions because they are working with the same background which are the ROS2 interfaces. So don't forget, if you want to learn anything about ROS2, check out our ROS2 online courses and in-person ROS2 training in the video description below. See you in the next video. Bye.